join me on Instagram. Beautiful pictures for you guys and give you lots of good information so that you can prepare yourself well for PA school. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I love all of the comments that you're leaving me, the emails that you're sending me. It, it just helps me a lot to just stay motivated and know that, hey, I can do this and what I'm doing is worth it. So thank you guys so much for that. I did want to talk to you guys today about just work, life, school balance in a sense. Um, I know that prior to PA school, I did let you guys know that that, hey I got declined I got rejected from some PA schools and I had to take classes over and it was really um it was really hard it was really hard you guys I was a mom I was a wife and I had to be a student I worked so it was difficult just trying to balance everything out I took four classes in one month because I wanted to make sure that I could boost my GPA up and that on top of going to school uh, well going to school on top of actually having to work as well as be a mom and a wife it, it definitely took a great juggling act but what was beneficial and what I feel like everyone should have is a great support system my husband was amazing he was really great he helped out a lot uh, and I needed it you know he stayed with the kids when I was at work or when I had to go to school and um, I didn't have to worry about that that was one less thing that I needed to worry about all I needed to worry about was getting some good grades so that I can apply to PA school and make sure that I was the best candidate possible going forward for each school that I applied to so definitely make sure that you have a great support system in your life and also make sure that you tell them that you're appreciative of them I need you to know you are awesome that helps out a lot because I know a lot of times people are very like giving they support they give you give 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 I'm talking about a whole lot of awesome but then they feel like all you're doing is just taking so make making sure that you're not just taking from them but also giving in return I'm talking about like incomprehensible awesome so I just wanted you to know that today I also did a lot of like trying to make sure that I was intentional about spending time with my kids like if I came home and they were asleep there's you know I couldn't avoid that but I come home and they're awake like alright I'm gonna get down on the floor and talk to you or you know if my little ones like hey mommy can play with me then we're gonna go play Jenga uh, it's not always feasible but you have to make the time because you don't want them to in the future be like all right well you know ma was always studying or sleeping or working she didn't have time for me because that's really why i came into this profession so my kids will never have to say that that i didn't have time for them i want to be able to spend time with them as far as school goes school was definitely i think that was like the easiest part of that whole process and in getting into pre school PA school that whole balancing I did a lot of studying um, finding the time to study may have been a little bit difficult but I had to do what I had to do so I would either study late at night or study really early in the morning because I had a teacher who told me I think it was melanin or melatonin um, I think it's melatonin uh, that it is diurnal so it goes down as the day goes on and as the night comes on so it helps you retain information and study so it's better to study in the morning so that's what I would do I would wake up really early and study. I think it was beneficial. I got good grades, so I guess it worked, but I did a lot of different little study mnemonics and songs and tactics and things to try to get myself to remember the information, which was beneficial because it helped cut down on that study time. So that was also something that I really hold true to. And then work. Work is always like irritating. You're always like, oh man, I gotta go to work. But I would study at work. Um, I would do different things that I may, like I applied to some schools while I was at work. I just, you do what you have to do. You have to do what you gotta do to get into PA school. So, I mean, all within normal limits, okay? Like all within like the law and, you know, good stuff. Like, but if I had to study it, work I did you know if I had to study while I was on the toilet Ew, no. I did if I was going through something in my head while I was taking a shower I did that and um, and that's okay do what works best for you but also make sure that you're utilizing your time as much and as best as possible because that's all it's 
it's there for that moment and then it's gone. So definitely utilize their time wisely. So that is the take home for balancing, you know, my life prior to PA school um, and trying to get into PA school. I really just utilized my time wisely. I did what I had to do. If I was studying and brushing my teeth, that's what I did. I would, I would go to sleep with something on my mind and wake up with it on my mind like I was dreaming about that class. <laughs> which is beneficial. So study afterwards, study at night before you go to sleep. And you will also hear that in the morning when you wake up. Let that be the last thing, you know, after prayer and stuff that happens. But utilize your time and you will be okay. You will make it. You will get into PA school or med school or nursing school and peace school, whatever it is you're trying to do, you will definitely do it if you utilize your time wisely. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you do want to hear about what my life is like now in PA school, balancing that life, because it's a whole different dynamic, just leave a comment below or hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you guys 